These two teams played several years ago, about a decade ago, in the best game I've ever been to live. Now, it's 10 years removed, uh, but they haven't played since. Do you sense either program is, is that has been a pitch, that has been a discussion this week, or is that game just great college football history and doesn't translate to tomorrow? Well, I, I don't think it translates for either program except for the fan bases and the alumni, right? And, and both coaching staffs have talked about this week trying to block out the noise. Well, the noise is that this game is some sort of rematch, you know, to what – and listen, I would consider it one of the best games I ever saw as well. But you can't recreate it. You can't recreate the stars that were on that field. You know, think about this. USC that night – played the only college football game in history where two Heisman Trophy winners suited up for the same team as Heisman Trophy winners. Uh, that, that's pretty epic. By the way, Vince Young was on the other side. Many consider, including me, one of the best to ever lace him up in the college game. That was an epic game, and that for this matchup tomorrow and uh, Saturday – is just noise for Texas and USC because USC, they've got goals and aspirations for themselves. So Clay Helton is their coach. And Texas, they're trying to just right the ship. You know, they're trying to get back to where they're relevant in a Big 12 title conversation or a playoff conversation, much less trying to harken back to their last national championship in 2005. Is USC great or is Sam Darnold great and everybody else is okay? How much is Darnold and how much is USC start? Well, I, I don't think you can have one without the other, right? I mean, when you've got a great quarterback, you're clearly going to be a very good football team. Now, I think that USC is very good around Sam Darnold. One of the things I was most Im impressed with last week against Stanford is the way that they pushed Stanford around at the line of scrimmage. Colin, you and I talked about this off the air this week uh, in, in the building. I haven't seen USC do that in quite some time. They have a football foundation for the first time in maybe a decade, uh, and that foundation is line play. They were brilliant on the offensive line, two 100-yard rushers, 307 yards on the ground against Stanford. I mean, Stanford doesn't give up that type of yardage because they're a very tough program. David Shaw is a very good coach, and that defense, I think, will be proven out to be one of the better defenses in the Pac-12 over the course, course of the season. So this team around Sam Darnold, they're pretty great. They just happen to have what I believe is the best quarterback in college football at the helm.